Hello and welcome to the channel. Today's video is about NGC 2261, also known as the Hubble Variable Nebula. Right now I have Stellarium up and set to February 22nd, 2020 at around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to show its location in the sky and specifically the location in the sky when I sketched it. This is a reflection nebula with an apparent magnitude of 9 and a surface brightness magnitude of 9.49. This nebula lies in the constellation of Monoceros, situated in the middle of Orion, Gemini, and Monoceros. Amongst it are a few other nebula you might recognize such as the Rosette Nebula and the Christmas Tree Cluster. Unfortunately, NGC 2261 is one of the many objects in Stellarium that don't have a picture associated with it. The nebula is formed by dust and gas being fanned out from the star Armonoceritis probably butchered that pronunciation, so I'll call it Arman, it spans the size of approximately one light year and is 2,500 light years away from the Earth. It is speculated that the dark knots of dust pass close to Arman, which causes the variability in the nebula. All right, that's enough technical details. Let's check out the sketch time lapse. I viewed this with my zoom eyepiece at eight millimeters to really magnify this small object. Very few stars in this field of view, and most of the stars that I could find were very faint. As usual with my sketches, I marked the stars with an HB pencil, and then used a 4B pencil for the fuzzy bits of the nebula. I blended and shaped the nebula a bit with a blending stump, and had a bit of graphite from the pencil on a piece of paper off to the side to dip into. Then I made some final touches and made sure I didn't miss any details in the eyepiece, marked off a couple of the cardinal directions so I know which way is which, and that's about it for the sketch. Once I got inside, I did some minor changes to the sketch, such as my accidental marking of west in the wrong direction, and I fixed a couple stars. This is the final sketch after being scanned and brought into GIMP where I inverted it, created the eyepiece view, and marked the corners with some details. I really enjoyed this nebula. It was an interesting object to view. While it isn't a large object and required a lot of magnification, Knowing that it's a variable nebula and it might change that by the next time I look at it, it really made it more interesting to look at. This is the only deep sky object I've ever looked at that looked exactly like a comet in the eyepiece, but it wasn't a comet. I can only imagine that if this object was a little more prominent in the night sky, it would have landed on Charles Messier's list. Well, I think that's about it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you made it this far, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.